welcome back to the vlog. I know I haven't said anything, <laughs> but um, today is Tuesday and um, I'm going to be filming for the next two weeks. You guys remember when I had short hair? Because that was truly a moment, but um, this is making me reconsider just keeping my hair short. I went to class. I had my corporate governance presentation, which I, po I you guys should have seen that. Um, and then my mom is actually here for the day. Um, she came to uh, do my hair and um, spend some time with me for the day. She was here for like three hours so far and we've like cooked two meals already. And by we, I mean her alone because I don't cook <laughs> as good as her, but... I got some peanut sauce and I also love her beans, like when she cooks beans. So she also made me some if this thing will stay down. I'm just put that there. She also gave, made me some uh, beans and I love it when she cooks beans with rice. So I'm so excited to have that. And I am currently in the process of taking the rest of my braids down. I'm just gonna be doing the same hairstyle, um, but we obviously need to redo the braids fresh because they were getting old. Um, but that's all that's happened today. I'm gonna be, like I said, vlogging for the next two weeks. Um, there's a lot going on this week and this weekend and then next week and next weekend. So, should be fun. Welcome to the vlog. I know, but it's still like, I don't know, there's so much going on in the show all the time. And it's just, there's always drama. I like Olivia Pope, but there's always drama. 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 Because it's the cases? Okay. Yeah, it's the cases. It's kind of like... Okay, what season are you on? Currently dropping my mom off. Um, we finished my hair around 2 a.m. It is now 4.30 and we just decided to stay up because her flight leaves at 6 and she likes to be at the airport about an hour and 30 minutes to two hours earlier. So I'm dropping her off right now. School-wise, this is going to be an interesting day for me. I'm really happy that it's Wednesday, which means I won't have any other classes for the rest of the week. Um, but I am exhausted. <laughs> So not looking forward to today, but I'm gonna drop her off and then um, go to sleep until immigration law and just roll out of bed and then just go to class because, oh, this is gonna be tough. Hello, hello people. It is now Thursday. I haven't so bad at vlogging over the last, this beginning of this week and I'm usually not this bad and I'm about to explain why, right? So I have been having some issues with my menstrual cycle this month and um my btmi don't really care i'm a girl i vlog for i think mostly women so whatever um but i've been having some general issues and i was not admitting that to myself because i was taking it as a personal failure if you watch my last vlog you see that i've been working really hard to try and be consistent with like my routines and then all of like some issues with my menstrual my period started over the last week and a half and i've just been trying to like push through to still do all of my routines and then getting upset with myself because i couldn't um but essentially it started, I had a bunch of like bad PMS symptoms, then it stopped, I went away for a little bit, then on Sunday, um, I, I had some pain, some really bad pain, unable to sleep, like because of just body aches, like really bad body aches, like I've never had this amount of body aches before like just just general hurt and obviously the fact that I've been going to the gym and all that stuff like factors into it but it was just really bad then I was having problems sleeping on Monday I literally had problems sleeping so I took a Tylenol PM like two Tylenol PMs it usually it knocks me out um my cramps were so bad they woke me up in the middle of my Tylenol PM induced sleep like at 2 a.m push past the drugs <laughs> to wake me up literally crying like I woke up with like tears streaming on my face like I could not go back to sleep like I cried the whole night um and obviously my mom came and I was it was really nice for her to like fly all the way across the country essentially to come and hang out with me for a day and do my hair and it looks wonderful but because we didn't um stop until 2 a.m I wasn't able to go to sleep at all and even then when I tried it was hard because of like the, my just my back like oh my god dude uh, so hard last night same issues literally my back pain is so bad like i've never had such bad like lower back pain um but i woke up this morning miserable and then i googled it and they said to put like a pillow um on the meet your hips and oh my god i slept for two 
hours this morning, two, three hours this morning, and it was actually good sleep. So we're kind of back. <laughs> I've essentially been just kind of like, oh, you're just being lazy, you're just being lazy, you're just being lazy, you just don't want to do things, you just want to do things, you just don't want to continue on with your routines. And it's like, no, I'm like gaslighting myself. It's just so annoying. And that's the only, like the only real reason I'm talking about this is just like I'm just gaslighting myself into thinking I'm lazy. And it's like, no, I'm actually in actual pain. Like I'm in actual pain um, right now. It's Thursday. I'm currently fixing my research for my clinic for my clients. Um, we had a presentation last week, if you watched last week's vlog, and we had some um, feedback from the presentation from our colleagues, and now I'm just like fixing some things before my clinic supervision meeting today. I also have a meeting for the Women of Color Collective today, and um, I don't know what else is going on, honestly. I just kind of want to do all of this, and then I would really like to go to sleep. <laughs> I really want to have some like decent sleep like I want to sleep so bad <laughs> aside to say thank you to Flexi Spot for sponsoring um, this part of the video I just finished building my new desk look at that yeah I just did that. <laughs> I have a flexi spot desk already. It is in my room. It's the one you guys see me use all the time, but I think I wanted more space. So this is the flexi spot VG EF1 two tier standing desk. I got it in the 55 inch and you can like customize your desk with your preferred color and size. The one that I have in my room is a little bit smaller. I think it's like 48 inch and I kept the same little color frame. So this is the white frame at the bottom and then you have the natural top because I just like that. That's the one I have. This is a standing desk, like I mentioned, and similar to the one that I already have, it has this little keypad right here, and that's how you go about adjusting the desk. So this one will make it go up, as you can see, and then this one will make it go back down. And you have the one, two, three, four here are just memory settings, so you can hold and press this, and it will keep one of the settings that you'd like to make it go back to exactly where you want it. So you can press one when you schedule it or when you fix it, and it'll go exactly where you want it to go so i just raised the height a little bit and no matter how tall it is it is just like super sturdy um and comfortable to use and i like the standing desk because obviously i'm sitting all of the time when it comes to law school so it's easy to um, help with my posture if sometimes i have the option to stand while i'm doing my work the really cool thing about this desk too is because it is a two-tier desk you basically have two options to um, make this desk look however you want it to look you can have it here like the way i have it right now where it's just one tier or you can have it look like it does right on the little thing right here where it stacks up just like that i decided to keep it this way because this is what i want i was going to do it two tier then i put my stuff in it and i said works for me <laughs> works for me but probably when i get back from my summer internship um in new york i will be making this a two-tier desk i just don't necessarily need a two-tier desk right this very second but i do like that i have the option <laughs> it's great thank you again to flexi spot for sponsoring Hello beautiful people. It's been a minute since the last time I vlogged. Do not ask me um, what's been going on this week <laughs> uh, because I don't know. Um, aside from like the last clip you guys saw, this week has really kind of been a blur. But it's Saturday now. It is first day of Dreamville Fest and it's also the big UNC versus Duke Final Four game. But I'm going to Dreamville Fest and I just finished getting ready. Realized I didn't show you guys my hair when my mom did it, but it's the exact same look. It's just a lot longer than it was before, which I'm kind of digging, especially for what we're going for today. I just finished putting these clips in my hair because I feel like it's kind of like a fun little pop of color. I'm wearing this top from Amazon. I'm also wearing these cargo jeans from Amazon. And I'm actually really in love with them. They fit really well and it comes with a cute little belt. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna take you guys to Dreamville today. I'm thinking um, the game is at 8.49 and WizKid is also at 8.40. Um, they said they're going to be playing the game at a different location, but the whole point of today was to go enjoy everybody else, was also to go enjoy mostly WizKid. So it was kind of a little bit of a, a 
lot of personal battle <laughs> happening here, but we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Um, obviously, I'll vlog it. I'll take you guys. Just got this new lipstick today. It's or the other day. It's the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. I think it's like a nice dupe for Fenty, and I really like it, and it tastes really good. <laughs> I'm not saying you should eat your lip gloss. I'm just saying this one tastes really good. <laughs> From the last clip, I feel a lot better. I'm not like it's my period is over, so we're back. <laughs> late but i am off today too and i'm late like 30 minutes late at this point you guys know i hate being late because i decided to just put these butterfly clips in my hair i used to wear them all the time when i first came to durham found them again i thought oh this would be such a look and i feel like i feel like it is um and then i'm wearing this green set from uh fashion nova it was like 20 bucks but I'm excited to see, I'm about to go see Rico Nasty, Bia, Wale, uh, Lil Wayne, J. Cole, of course, and I think T-Pain is here too, so see you guys there. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, April 6th. Um, what did you guys just see? I'm trying to think because I've decided to make this vlog basically the season finale of season two of my life um in law school not of my life um because after this week we're just going to be going straight into finals next week is the last week of class and we're going to finals and i just figured let's just put it all on one vlog that just means this vlog is probably long that's okay um but you guys just saw just went to dreamville and that was literally so fun. Um, J. Cole's performance was amazing as expected. And I think that the best person who I would definitely go see live again and like pay money, go see live is T-Pain. T-Pain is such a performer. Like he puts on such a great show. And also I think Boz, Boz, I think, because <laughs> before then I hadn't like heard his music, but he also puts on a really great show. Um, I had such a good time and I bought merch. I bought like a sweater. It's just like a hoodie and it just says Dreamville and it's green. It looks really pretty on. Um, I would wear it today, but it's supposed to be like 80 degrees today in Durham, which is beautiful. I'm just wearing this top. Um, I brought out all of my California clothes for the weather, so I'm excited. But yeah, this week has not had a lot going on. <laughs> I know I said that a lot, but... The later part of this week, starting today until the weekend, has a lot happening, which is why I am vlogging. So today is the last day of class for one of my classes. So we're going to go to like the Washington Duke, I think. 
something like that to go and end class and then um i am going to go right now to go and look for a, like a shooting location essentially for prom this friday so originally prom was supposed to take place in uh, a certain location i think it was like museum of life and science or something like that and then they switched it to a different venue and they said that there's going to be like picture walls but here is where me being the past instagram focused person comes in i hate taking pictures in front of photo walls i really do <laughs> it's like going to la and then taking pictures in front of like those like pink walls like it's like everybody does it i just don't like doing it so i'm like looking for another location because i bought a dress and i want to give the dress its moment fully so I'm gonna go looking for locations right now. Go to campus. I have I'm meeting my friend for lunch, so we can look at New York apartments, and then I have class for the rest of the day. But take me back to Dreamville. <laughs> Just got my prom shoes in the mail. It feels so weird to talk about prom like this because I've already had prom. It's also really nice because I don't think I like the way my prom actually went. So hence I might be overcompensating here. But these are some Steve Madden gold shoes. I wear a lot of Steve Madden's, I realize. They kind of hurt. <laughs> but Steve Madden, please sponsor me. This is what it looks like, just gold. And then it has these um little tie that go up the leg and it's also gold. I love that. Look how shimmery that is. But today, <laughs> I'm giving a little bit of tired today. I feel good. I just had some melatonin yesterday. And sometimes when I have it, it does this thing that makes my eyes kind of puffy. I don't know. Right now, I want to run to Target really quickly um, and get some liner. I'm trying to do like a graphic liner look for today, like a simple one. So I need to go and get some liner. I want like a white one and maybe like a nice colorful one. We'll see. I also maybe want to look for like a matte like drugstore foundation because I'm just not in the mood to go to the mall today. I have like a nail appointment. I'm going with a bunch of my two off friends to get our nails done together. And after that, I'm just going to be like practicing my eye look to make sure that I get it right. <laughs> to make sure I get it on point. But yeah, cheers. Cheers to Bros. are home now and I just tried to do what I wanted to do for my eye look okay and first of all I need to go back to Walmart and get another eyeliner pencil because this one is bull <laughs> which one is this the hyper easy Maybelline one um you suck <laughs> hate you um I have to get like a liquid liner that's like in a pen form though because I don't I have a hard time keeping my hands steady but I was thinking either of going full on black kind of like this or like here where there's a color and then it is also black okay now you guys can see it in the daytime and it does look a lot brighter I do like it first attempt I think it's just gonna have to do <laughs> ready i am so happy that my makeup turned out good the first try like i did not have to do this again so i'm super happy with it um I ha i'm happy i like branched out and tried something new um i'm about to go to the leasing office right now to uh take some pictures i originally wanted to go to the durham hotel and i might actually end up there still but uh, i just want to take my pictures here because i don't want the sun to leave i do like my son um so we're gonna do that right now and then yeah start the night <laughs> Take my 
makeup off, so face card still giving. <laughs> That's so bad for me. Like, my skin is already breaking out. This is all bad. Um, but good morning. It is now Saturday. I have a 12-page deposition outline to write today. Mm, mm, mm. It's not due until uh, Wednesday, but we're going to try to do most of it today. Uh, I'm going to say most of it and not all of it because y'all know how I do with that thing. I'd be saying I'm going to write all these papers in one day. And then later on, I'd be getting depressed because I can't. So <laughs> let me not set myself up anymore. I prom was so fun, you guys. Um, and I just feel like gener genuinely or generally, uh, prom always goes by so quickly. And maybe it's because of the expectations that we put on it maybe we as women put on prom it goes by so quickly and i was thinking about like this eye look like i was stressing about it before and i think that's like a genuine like female like we women experience to stress about something so tiny <laughs> and not, and then not give a fuck about it later like <laughs> Anywho, right now I'm about to go to breakfast um, and then afterwards focus on that 12 page outline I just mentioned, um, try to get the most of it done and later on today, um, after that, I think it's around 6 or 7, um, Duke's Bolsa Black Classroom Association um, student group is having like a bowling night so we're going to go to bowling night, um, so that should be fun, just a fun little day. Um, I'm just really happy with like everything, how everything turned out yesterday. I'm over here scratching the fuck up. Listen, these braids are new. They're doing these thing right now, you know, where you get new braids. They start kind of like releasing, like relaxing, so they itch. Anyway, you don't care about that. You don't care about that. Let's get the day started. Good morning. It is Sunday. I originally started vlogging. Let me close this. I originally started vlogging this weekend because I was like, there's a lot going on. So let me vlog it, obviously. Um, and we kind of effectively dubbed this Black Weekend because there really is a lot of things that were like going on this weekend. Barrister Brawl, bowling yesterday, and today's Sunday. And there is a brunch happening for Bolsa, the Black Law Student Association. Um, we're going to a brunch it's like a networking thing some of the like alums who are in like law firms i believe are coming um to talk to mostly like the one else to all uh, one else that are coming but obviously i'll talk to them also i look rough <laughs> i look rough i had noodles yesterday um so my face is really bloated i need some water but i'm about to try and get some work done i have a four page paper reflection do um monday tomorrow so i'm just gonna write it right now hopefully i finish it because it's currently like 7 30 brunch is at 12 30. not even that i have to go i don't have to go to these things but i would like to so let's see if i can get some work done um before we leave <laughs> also my house is like filthy and i hate it so much but i have not had time to clean it and i just hate looking at it i hate looking at it so much Ugh. I'll clean it later. I'll clean it later when I come back. When I come back from brunch. I'm not gonna give you meds. Is that? Oh no, bless you. <laughs> oh, bless you, mamas. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm about to give you meds. Let's let's see if I can do this. Is that hurt? I'm running off. Come here. Come here, Miss Grace Kelly. Uh, pets. Look, we're petting. We're petting. We're petting. We're petting, we're petting the neck, right? You love it, you love it, you love it, you love it, you love the pets. Don't even lie. You... Oh fuck, I did not open this. Oh my god. We opening that thing the first time. This is what I get. This is what I get. Mm -hmm. I get you being a little scaredy cat. You're a little scaredy cat. That's okay. This one doesn't even hurt. You're a good cat. You're the best cat. And she's off. Ignore my messy, messy closet, but look. And look. Oh my god. She started doing this thing where she sleeps in here now. I don't know how long she's been doing this. Um, because I leave my drawers open often and I've never seen her in here. Uh, but now she's just in here. Um, and she looks upset. <laughs> you needed the meds. 
and you need eye drops. I'm gonna put that in that eye later. I haven't talked at all or a lot in this vlog or this part of the vlog. <laughs> um, but here's a little fit for today. <laughs> yes. Okay. So came to campus, went to work out, came to campus early to do some of my readings and some work. And now I just, I'm about to get out of class for my immigration law and go home and do some more work. But yeah, I looked at the calendar, realized next week is the start of finals week and I'm freaking out <laughs> but hey at least we look cute <laughs> not the finals dragon <laughs> <laughs> just perusing the law school for food back secured we need to have to be a successful junior associate at the firm um, on the other days of the week. Happy Tuesday for myself and Miss Grace Kelly, who has decided to sleep in that drawer today. Um, I need to go to class. <laughs> it is the last day of class round, what, three? Last week was one, no, round two? Round two. Um, my corporate governance class and my clinic seminar class is ending today. Um, so I'm supposed to be like, in my corporate governance class before nine well it starts at nine uh, but we have like a speaker today and he was like don't come late but the thing is the thing is you guys <laughs> the way they put the class or where they put this class is in the cameron indoor i've vlogged in there before it's in a different spot than the law school so you have to walk up this gigantic ass hill in the law school and um park in the garage way up top honestly <laughs> Let me complain. Let me start this day by complaining. I'm about to be wearing some of my my thrifty shoes. How fast are you trying to get me to walk? <laughs> How fast are you trying to get me to walk? How fast? Up a hill? Dang. <laughs> I also finished my deposition outline yesterday for my um, pre-trial litigation class. So tomorrow, the second to last final part of that class is a deposition. So we're having witnesses come in, witnesses uh, come in to uh, to be deposed. I'm deposing a doctor, um, and ugh, my shoes won't go on. And I finished it yesterday. It was a 12-page deposition outline. Um, I am going to add one, a couple of last things at the end there, just like things I want to say um, when I'm defending um my client and today or tomorrow i will be defending the owner of like the the company we were talking about this entire time sorry the lighting is weird i just don't have the time right now to fix it um so i'm gonna do that i need to print out the exhibits so i can give it to the witness and the a court court reporter um and yeah i already have my outfits from last time in my locker so i don't need to bring anything and I don't need to pack some food, but yeah, 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 it's messy in there. Yeah, yeah. people happy last day of class for me as a 2 well i'm super excited to like get this over with but at the same time i'm a little on my feels because you know if you watch those one of vlogs <laughs> it was tough out here so i didn't really think that i don't know if i thought that i would get this far uh, but it was definitely a struggle and the fact that i am ending all of this 
am feeling pretty good about my law school career and happy is not something that I expected. So I'm about to head over to campus to do some readings before my immigration law class. I decided to switch my outfit for my deposition. So we have this one that I loved over the last summer for my internship and then this striped jacket. Do I need a jacket? No, I just think it goes with the outfit. So I'm putting it. <laughs> I reviewed the IND approval letter and the NDA approval letter. All right, deposition is over and it was harder than I was expecting it to be, mostly because I did not anticipate um, how the norm of not interrupting people would factor into this. <laughs> because essentially when, um, was it when opposing counsel like says, asks a question and you have to object, you basically have to kind of interrupt them a little bit. And I did not realize how hard that would be for me to just jump in and be like, objection, you know? Um, but after the first time I did it, it got easier as time went on, but, um, it was harder than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully everything went well in terms like grade wise. I think once I got used to it, like used to like the hang of it, it was good. Um, but not as fun as oral arguments, I would say. I think I definitely like oral arguments a lot more. I don't know what that says for what I'm going into practice for, but... I definitely like oral arguments <laughs> like a lot more um but right now i'm just packing my bag and i'm just gonna walk to camp uh walk back to my car like this because there's no use for me to change right now um there is a thing called like a gavel ceremony that we're hosting or bolsa is hosting for uh the graduating seniors and i never i don't know what it is so you guys will see it at the same time i'm seeing it but i have to go home change and then we're going to this place called nana state to celebrate them graduating <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. It is the next day and it is currently 5.09 p.m. So nothing's happened <laughs> uh, for the entire day. I had a meeting, my usual clinic supervision meeting, and I just went to that. And then I had immigration law again because I forgot that they changed the schedule to make it so we had Monday classes today. So I guess technically yesterday wasn't my last day of class, but we're just going to say it was because it was. It was. This evening, there's a couple of things happening. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting to all of them. First things first, um, I have a double date later on tonight at 8 p.m. I'm gonna be going to the Durham Hotel, the rooftop. Hopefully they have seats, so I'm excited for that. And then there's bar review because this is the last bar review. So maybe I'll go to that, I don't know. Um, essentially, I'm gonna be studying for the next <laughs> week and a half or so, um, but for now, it's fun. I keep forgetting to wash my makeup brushes over the last couple days that I've worn makeup and I'm actively, actively breaking out right now. Actively breaking out. Still cute. <laughs> I am ready to go and I just want to show you guys my fit. It is this little skirt. Mostly I want to show you this little skirt because I'm kind of obsessed with it. I've been trying to get into the like Y2K mini skirt trend and obviously the whole Y2K trend mini skirt thing was for like really stick thin people during that time and during this time also. So the whole mini skirt trend thing, kind of hard to do when you've got big ass thighs and a big butt. <laughs> But I found this mini skirt on uh, Amazon actually, and I just bought it. I bought a large. I had to buy a large, and usually I'm like a smaller medium, and it fits. I just put on these tights because it's either this or put on a jacket. Um, this is mini. It's mini mini. <laughs> I'm not trying to expose myself, but it's also really warm today. It's been warm over the last couple days. It's beautiful, and I just want to feel that weather. So I don't want a jacket. So tights. It is. <laughs> 
say sorry, you gotta go. I say wait on your soul. You say I gotta go. Maybe one day you never know. I say sorry, you gotta go. It is the next day. I decided not to go to bar review. I just went to the double date. Um, last night because it was nice and I didn't want to leave earlier than I should have because the vibes were immaculate and I really like that place the Durham Hotel um, but you know I have another year to do bar review so I'll just do it next year today though because it is the next day it's currently Friday this is going to be an errands day yesterday was supposed to be my day off but because I had class and all these other stuff going on today is essentially my day off and I'm gonna take the time to one I need to clean up my apartment yeah yeah i need to clean my apartment and get it ready for a uh, finals because during finals it does get really dirty like i'm not gonna lie i just put things down and i walk away so i want to get it prepped for that and not just pile on um today like right now in about 30 minutes i'm going to go on campus for a transition meeting I mentioned it before, but I am on the board for the Women of Color Collective on campus, the student organization on campus, and we are transitioning, except I am now president. <laughs> Last year or this year that I was on the board, I was social chair. I am now officially president for the next year, and it's a little bit strange because as a 3L, I'm not supposed to really be like on the board like that except to be like a 3l rep because they assume that as a 3l you're not going to be as involved as you were you know you're a 3l <laughs> but because our organization kind of occupies a weird space on campus where we exclude like the group essentially excludes white women and just has women of color as it says but there are other groups on campus that also just have specific women of color group you know or just like specific um affinity groups so it's a little bit harder for us to like host events and do things when everybody else is similarly like doing the things that we want to do so we did host a lot of things last year and our applications were very like low um so i'm kind of filling the spot and hopefully over the next year that i am president i can do some really cool things um and get us to where we should be per <laughs> of this week. <laughs> but look, I'm wearing this dress again. I have not not worn this dress in since LA over the summer. But yeah, we're about to go off and see Chris Rock um, at yeah. D-Pack at 8 p.m. Good morning, good morning. We are officially entering the 9 to 5 study schedule um, for finals. I did a little bit last week, <clears throat> especially last weekend. We were doing it for the last 
for the next two weeks. <laughs> Unfortunately, something is going on in my throat right now. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's because of karaoke. So it's like straining my voice to sing. Um, but I essentially feel like I have a sore throat, which is not good uh, at all. I hope I'm not sick. Um, maybe later today we'll go get a COVID, um, a quick, a, a rapid COVID test just to make sure that's not, it's not that. Um, because people at school were getting COVID over the last couple of days. Uh, you guys hear that? I do not sound good. <laughs> I have a floating exam, which means that I have any time between today when final exams begin till the 29th when final exams end to take the test. Um, I can't take it on a Friday though, I think, or on a Sunday, but any day between then I can take it. So this week I'm going to be studying and reviewing for my immigration law class to take the exam probably next Monday or Tuesday. And then I have a final like 12 to 15 page um, expert deposition outline due on the 29th, the last day of finals for my pretrial litigation class. I'm not going to work on that until after I'm done um, with the immigration law exam. I already started and I'm on page eight. So I think that's pretty good, <laughs> um, pretty ahead. Uh, so that's what we're doing. I have a uh, meeting right now though with my supervisor for my clinic and then I have a client meeting at 9.30 until 10.30. After that, I'm just gonna start studying um, straight through. But, oh, my throat, dude, I hate, this is like the worst part of a cold. It's the throat part, like please. <laughs> Figured I'll show you guys a little bit of how I am studying for my immigration law class because this is the first time in a while where I am not using an old outline given to me by a 2L or 3L and then just writing my notes on top of it. I actually hate creating my own outline, but um, it's really good in terms of like review and relearning the material. So I have my study schedule here. This is my Lux Law School Planner. And I just wrote down everything that I need to study for the week. Like I mentioned, I'm only studying for immigration law. That's the only actual exam I have. And the most useful thing is the syllabus. The syllabus is so helpful. If your professor's syllabus is a mess, it makes it so much harder to um, relearn the information. So if his study schedule is a mess, go ahead and uh, hound your professors. But I'm just going to go back. And essentially, I went through all of the big ticket items, which are just like these um, big, bold ones right here. I have eight for immigration law, and I just broke it down by days of how I want to study it. Essentially, I would have loved to study two big ticket items today, but because my meeting took a lot longer, I'm only going to be studying the first one. Um, but that's okay because this is this one right here. And this second one, the second big ticket item is very heavy. It's hefty. Um, so I should be taking my time with those. Um, so we're going to start with that and I just wrote everything down here just to keep track of everything that I'm doing and I am just going back and looking back at my notes and just cutting it down essentially um, putting everything that's important I will be creating things like charts um, flow charts everything like that to make it easier for me to retain the information and put it down on an exam I woke up this morning and um, I felt shitty. <laughs> so I went, took some medication, went back to sleep, and now it's like 10 a.m. and I feel fantastic. I feel great. Feels good because yesterday I was not feeling that good after studying. Um, but today the schedule is I'm going to meet my friend who works for the NBA now <laughs> for breakfast. And about what time is it? Breakfast is at 10 30. And then hopefully after, not hopefully, <laughs> let me rephrase. Uh, afterwards, I'm going to go on campus and study for a little bit before I have like a mock uh, court happening for my clinic because later on this week I will be, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, I really don't know what I've said in this vlog thus far because I've vlogged for so long, um, but I have a hearing on Thursday for my client, for my clinic. Um, so we're having a little mock practice uh, court appearance today around 2 p.m. And then afterwards, I will be staying on campus 
until I think five, maybe six to continue to study. Um, what else? Come home and probably study for a while because I am studying later than usual. Uh, usually I like to do, like I said, a nine to five schedule, but because I was feeling under the weather, I slept in and I gotta stay up a little bit later. The good thing though is yesterday I was able to do two sections for my immigration law classes or one and a good half <laughs> um and i was only supposed to do one per my schedule so i'm a little ahead of my study schedule which is good um but i want to keep the momentum going honestly i want to finish all the review parts of it and just start taking the exam i usually don't like to do like <laughs> i'm a dumb person to just go full and full on like take the practice exam struggle through it figure out where on my outline i need this and this and this and this um and then take the test and then someone who's going to go step by step by step and review um i don't know if that's common i have no clue but because my professor did not give us a lot of practice exams this time around she honestly didn't give us any other than like a practice questions or two i think and then there are questions on the in the book that we were assigned so yeah i'm gonna just take my time with all of that <laughs> take my time with all of that but welcome what am i saying welcome to you guys have already been in the vlog if you're this deep you're in the vlog hey bestie <laughs> let's get the day started It is hearing day, people. It is currently Thursday, April 21st, 7.10. I need to be out of here in 20 minutes <laughs> or 10 minutes. Um, but it's currently uh, hearing day and I'm getting dressed, but I don't really know why. <laughs> it's just like the formality because we were supposed to go to um, the Charlotte uh, Immigration Court to do this hearing. And then all this stuff with COVID has been happening recently. Um, so they said they prefer to do like a virtual, like remote hearing. So we thought, okay, Zoom. And then um, I think it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday, uh, the judge's clerk called my supervisor and basically told them that the judge actually likes to, would prefer to have like a phone hearing instead, which I know this hearing is just like <clears throat> a preliminary one. It's nothing is really being decided here, but I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I think it's like so strange to, you know, not see the people who you're like, I don't know, doling out justice to in a sense. Like you just don't see them, especially in this context where we're like in an immigration context. In a, in a deportation context. Um, again, this is a preliminary type of hearing. It's not, um, nothing is really being like decided today in terms of like is, you know, the client getting deported or not. Um, but it's still like a little bit strange to be that you don't want to see the people who you're talking to, like, especially in this context. But hey, who am I? <laughs> who the heck am I? I'm still getting dressed though. Um, I don't know about heels, but I'm wearing this dress again. Um, giving it its moment. Um, I just think it looks so, I don't know, old Hollywood. And I can't believe I bought it at the thrift store. But yeah, we're gonna go to campus soon. Um, hearing starts around 8.40 and um, I think I'm gonna pack my bag to just stay on campus. I actually finished my uh, immigration law outline, what is it, yesterday? Um, which is early because based on my schedule, I'm supposed to be done with it today by the end of today so we're very early in that so i'm just gonna start um doing the practice questions that she has up and formulating rule statements which i will just show you guys when i get to the library and start doing it um i think my i think my boot thing's gonna be at the library too so um but yeah i'll show you guys when we get there but yeah good morning good morning <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
the hearing is over and I am back home, clearly. Um, everything went well in terms of like just the hearing. It's so exciting. Even though it was only like a five minute hearing, I didn't get to say a bunch of things. It's still very exciting, you know, as a first gen to be able to say that I was a, one of the student attorneys on the record representing like a real life client. It's actually very dope and I'm super excited for that. Hearing, um, in terms of the actual hearing itself, it went well too for our client. She um, has some exciting things going on um, and I'm just kind of reconsidering my decision to not do the like advanced clinic next semester based on what happened in like court during the hearing today because of immigration law because things just move slowly when it comes to like the justice system the immigration law system whatever um we essentially wanted like an earlier hearing for our client but that wasn't able to happen um so nothing's really going to be happening for the client until 2023 late 2023 um so now I'm thinking, because I do want to be on that specific case, I might do the uh, advanced clinic, not for the fall semester, but in my spring semester of 3L, just to see if I can see this case all the way through, because I would actually really love to be able to go to actual court and um, just just see it all the way through. I think that would be that would be really like a good learning experience and just really good to, to do. But as for today, I know I was like, I'm going to do all these things after the hearing and then I checked my schedule and because of the fact that I'm ahead of my study schedule and just ahead in general I'm not gonna lie you guys I had a really good schedule this past year like my schedule's really it's really doing it and the thing is I'm not even trying I'm not even I don't be trying for my classes like that I just really going with the vibe sometimes <laughs> and not even sometimes I go with the vibe all the time it almost always works out for me <laughs> um but i because i'm ahead of everything um, i'm taking the day off and it also helps because uh yesterday i actually took too much too many of my um adhd medication i took took it in the morning forgot i took it and then took it again like 30 minutes afterwards it just kind of made my brain feel like mush and when i tried to like open something today i was just like okay my brain's not doing it and i don't want to take medication again today so we're just gonna go ahead and take a break which is fine because i can because of my schedule ah. anyway <laughs> what i will be doing today is cleaning my house again because it's dirty again and um something else that i don't think i told you guys yet but my start date for new york um is may officially may 23rd is when orientation begins at my firm but my firm paid for my plane ticket to go to new york and i will be leaving on the 22nd i essentially wanted to be there be there a little bit earlier but because they are paying for it i'll let them tell me when i get there okay um and since i have my living arrangement all set up already that's fine except for the fact that um i think the a girl who I am subletting from, she's staying for orientation that week of the 23rd. So I won't be able to get into the room until like the 28th, like that Friday or Saturday. Um, so I was like trying to figure out how, like what to do. And turns out my family's just always down. <laughs> My family's just always down to travel. So I like called my mom and I was like, do you want to come to New York? And she's like, yeah. So my family will be coming, uh, my sister and my mom and I, my niece, she's going to be coming to New York that week so we can like split everything. So I won't have to pay for essentially what would be a month's rent for a week's stay <laughs> somewhere. Um, and I also hope that I can talk to maybe my firm to see if they could come in and see the firm and just look around. Um, I don't know, just see it because they've never, like I've never been inside a law firm like that and they've never been inside a law firm like that. And I just kind of want my parents to, as a first gen, <laughs> I want my parents to see where I'm working um, and just like experience that. It's gonna be a chill day, we're just relaxing. Um, we have Grace Kelly here, she's here. Um, and I, another update, I recently just got her um, like approved as an emotional support cat. My psychiatrist just approved it, sent me the paperwork for it. I just can't imagine leaving her 
like I know my mom would take great care of her over the summer but it's two months and it's two months too long to not be with my kitty cat um she's my everything she's my best friend and it was honestly causing me emotional distress to think about leaving her anywhere whether it's boarding my mom's it's too much so I'm glad I got that approved I also need to um, let me write that down I need to send that over to Columbia Law uh Columbia Law Housing to let them know because I need to get her approved for the apartment that I'm staying at and also for my apartment because I'm currently paying rent on her and I shouldn't be anymore. Dot ED, where you may also chat with a customer service representative. Oh, and then I also got a rare painting. Oh, and then I also got a rare About to go on a hike with a friend i literally just started studying <laughs> it is um friday april 22nd the next day i just started studying but i said yes to the hike and i do want to go on a hike and i am just generally a little irritated with myself for the last two to three weeks because i am having issues finding a balance between being like super social uh because i love being social i love being in a like a group setting i love hanging out with my friends i just i love all of that shit it's probably because i didn't do a lot of that before i got here and honestly before i got to law school i thought that i was a very much an introvert turns out i am very much an extrovert and i love it except it makes me um, kind of make my own boundaries with myself very flexible which I don't like and I've been having some issues being more disciplined over the last since the year started so today was supposed to be the day where I get back to being more disciplined except I woke up super late <laughs> because last night I went to sleep late and I just set myself up for kind of like failure today um, so that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying for me. And I'm trying not to be like too angry because I feel like as long as I get back up, it's fine. You know, sometimes it's just not. And that's what I try to tell you guys when you guys ask me about being disciplined, about being on top of it. It's not like a steady uh, little road. It's very much very bumpy. But to me, as long as I get back up <laughs> and I try again, um, it's fine. So I'm also trying to unlearn that, you know, being productive means waking up super, super early. I don't know. I unlearned it and I seem to have learned it again and I'm trying to unlearn it again. Um, but I had set to like wake up today at like 4 a.m. And I was like, why? <laughs> That's what like the third thing that set me up for failure. It's like, why are you up at four? You don't need to be up at four. Like, it doesn't mean anything. Just get up and do what you need to do at a reasonable time. I just wanted to say that because you guys do ask me things about being consistent and about being, you know, disciplined and it's not a steady, <laughs> it's not a steady road at all. Like I struggle with it every single day, but as long as I get back up and I try again, that's all that matters. So today we're going on a hike. I'm excited to be out in nature. And then afterwards we have some practice problems to do for immigration law. <laughs> And then I went downtown afterwards to meet up with one of y'all, also an undergrad, like a Duke undergrad student that sent me an email to talk to me about law school um, and just like Duke law in general. And it was so fun. It's always really nice to like meet you guys. And as I say this and I'll say it again, if you are in Durham and you love to like talk to me about law school you just want to talk to me in general you guys know i love talking this vlog is probably very long um just send me an email if you like have my email here at duke the chances that you can find my email is very high uh, like my duke law email or send me a message on like instagram or something um, if i don't reply it's not because i'm just like not replying to you i just haven't seen it make sure you like send me another one please like if it's an email forward it to me again like, I will not find it bothersome in the least bit. Like, I want to talk to y'all. I love meeting y'all. Like, it's so fun. Um, and you guys are more or less my peers, especially 
y'all who want to go to law school, you're my peer. <laughs> you're my peer. The legal community is very small. You are my peer. Of course, I'm going to talk to you. Uh, but I was, since I was downtown, I was planning on staying there to study. There's this girl on TikTok who likes to go to fancy hotel lobbies to like do her work. And I was trying to do that. Then it just kind of was taking too long for me to find like parking because downtown Durham is alive right now. Like it's been 80 degrees the past two days. It's going to be 80 degrees until Thursday, next Wednesday or Thursday. So the weather is awesome. I have such bad FOMO. Like I can see people outside my window at the pool right now. And I'm very jealous. I want to be out. I want to be doing things. And I just, I'm here. I'm here. But anyway, I'm about to study, um, just write some rule statements. There you go. I'm going to take a practice exam, um, a practice question, and then I'm going to write some rule statements full out about just like a wide variety of things that I think are going to be on the exam, especially focusing on naturalization. And today's practice question focuses on like constitutional problems when it comes to immigration law. So I'm going to fully write that out. Um, I will explain the process as I'm going because I think you guys like that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to explain the process, but yeah, I want to be out. I want to be outside. I want to be in the streets. <laughs> Currently on my first break, so I thought I would explain a little bit about what I'm doing right now. Um, so here on my iPad is my midterm question. Um, this is the practice question right here. And the first thing I do is similar to what I talked about in the last vlog. I just go through once. I just read it by itself. And then I go through a second time and I read and I take notes. And I go through again and read and take more notes. And the notes essentially aren't like clean per se. So I'll highlight things. But what they'll do or what I'll do is just write down the first thing that comes to mind. So with this question right here, here we have a travel ban based on COVID-19 and one of the main cases or really the only cases that we talked about talking about a travel ban is Trump v. Hawaii. So I wrote that right there because that is important. That's the first thing that um, came up when I read it. Um, so I'm going to start with that case, but then I just kind of went in the margins and um, sectioned off what who is approved to come to the United States or who isn't, Who basically who's affected by the ban. And then down here is the questions. Essentially, I'm supposed to be a Supreme Court justice and I'm answering these questions. And you have like a UK citizen, you have a US citizen, and then you have lawful permanent residents because in immigration law, you're treated differently based on these criteria. So on, these, on this corner right here, I have outside the US, inside the US, and returning home because based in based on our like classes and what we've learned so far immigration law and just <laughs> when you take an immigration case to court a lot of what matters is whether or not you're out of the u.s you're inside the u.s or you're returning home so it stuck out to me so i just wrote that down and these are all different cases um that i can't remember the name of when i wrote this down initially but i know what i'm thinking about so i'll just have to like go in my outline and find that spot to figure out what exactly i want to talk about the hardest part though right now is formulating a clean rule statement so i'm going to show you guys based on our last midterm this is the sample answer and you can see from this how clean it looks like the citations are very clean they got the highest score which is why they're the sample i think the highest score was a three seven um i got on the midterm i believe a three six um so i just mine was not this clean but i want it to be this clean but then you have to remember that this is a timed exam we do have eight hours but it's still timed so it's important to formulate these <laughs> at least for me to make it look like this clean i need to at least uh create this beforehand so it's more of a copy and paste job as opposed to i'm making this up on the spot because i simply if I'm making it on the spot, it will not look this clean. And that's just the truth. 
because we only had those two practice problems and then the one midterm that we took, um, we don't really have like a full-fledged exam as an example, which I would have liked a lot more just to see how she likes to test in a full exam. But I am now switching over to book ex problems for practice. Um, when your professor says things like this, because she did say that, <laughs> you want to write that down and you want to note it. You know what? This should have been highlighted, actually. Let's go ahead and highlight that. Um, so she pointed out that naturalization makes for good exam questions, especially focusing on good moral character um, requirement. So there are some review problems on page 445 that she also pointed out. So I'm about to go in there because I haven't done them yet. I'm about to go in there, look at them, do the problems and then type things uh, out full out because we don't have any other practice problem in this section. Good morning. The day has arrived. It is the day of the exam. Um, it's currently 8.50. I'm thinking about taking the exam. Well, not thinking. I have to start the exam around 9.30. Um, but I'm just ready to get it over with. Am I fully prepared? I hope so. I hope so. But more, more than anything, I just really want to get this over with. Um, right now, I'm just cooking some uh, thick and fluffy French tips egos. I'm going to have that. Then I think usually, you guys know when I take my exams, I like to stay in my house. I'm thinking about going to the leasing office, to one of the rooms, especially that one room that I seem to like a lot to see if that's open. And if it is, then that's fine. I'll just have like my earphones. I'll have coffee there because I don't like to take my medications when I um, when I take exams. And yeah, we're just, we're so close. We're so close to ending this year. Mm. I'm currently taking my test and I'm excited to show you guys because um, like I was telling you guys I was creating like uh, role statements and stuff and I guess that one of the things she was going to talk about literally in the last couple of clips that I was talking about my studying was about naturalization and I wrote an entire role statement on it and look at this y'all look at this copy paste <laughs> skin looks horrible under this lighting but okay fuck that um, I'm about to submit my exam I'm about to submit. Let's just let's go ahead and click it. I'm gonna click it with y'all. Mm -hmm. Wait, damn cursor. All right. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Yes, it was just received, and I have to send. The dean. Um, I'm so ready to be done, y'all. I can't even stress how much I'm ready to be done. Like, I hate this. I've been here for way too long. Um, and when I tell people that I really have like ADHD and this like extra time, that's not like it's not like some superpower that makes me do so much better um, than everybody else. I feel like sometimes people don't believe it, and it's like, yeah, I had extra time on this exam, and I took every single H this. <laughs> First of all, my brain is fried. Second, I struggled so much because I don't take medications when I do an exam. So yeah, I need I needed the time, I really did. And it's crazy that I only figured this out when I got to law school during my second year um, because damn, what a struggle. <laughs> an African store downtown in downtown Durham. <laughs> Look at all these. No school means day drunk at the mall. <laughs> because my boyfriend's trying on suits for graduation. And I'm just here for vibes. Under the influence, but um, this is high key giving. Also, just learn that ties are like $55 and plus here in the store. And what's in there? What's in the tie? It's a slip of fabric. What is in the tie for it to be $65? Hello, hello. I have not.
not spoken directly to the camera while not slightly inebriated <laughs> in quite a second and that's because your bitch is on vacation okay and i'm trying to figure out what to still include in this end of this vlog because I have a solid almost a month before I start work or leave for New York on May 22nd um, so I don't know if I want to include whatever I'm doing between that time because there's nothing set like I don't have a vacation a lot of people uh, schedule vacations between like the beginning of May before they start work I did not do that because I wanted to stay here and like I think I mentioned already my family is coming to New York um, for my first week like orientation week um, so I don't need to travel back to LA to to see them so i just i'm just kind of here i'm just hanging out with friends um and there hasn't really been much going on which is great you should be happy for me that's a good sign um but i've also just like woken up from what feels like a two-day nap or two day just deep sleep yesterday was the first day of my period i was also generally really tired because i've been lifting again with like the bar um so i just my body was tired so i slept all day yesterday did not open the blinds did not see the sun not a single thing i was just asleep um and then today there's not much going on again <laughs> but i'm supposed to be going to the gym at least i was supposed to be going to the gym at one but i'm pretty sure my friend is asleep <laughs> The problem when I take a nap, but when everybody else can take a nap. Um, so that might be pushed back. And then later on today, I am hanging out with my friend Sade. She's leaving to go to Atlanta tomorrow morning. And then she's leaving for DC. She's going to be working at a big law firm in DC. So we're going to different places. So we won't be able to see each other. So we're going to be hanging out today. Something chill because she's driving back. So we can't like go crazy. And from the last <laughs> clip y'all saw, I've already been lit this week, okay? I've already been lit this week. I don't need it to be lit again. <laughs> I also wanted to mention, there's been a little bit of an issue with vlogging because if you don't know, I do TikTok too, so go and follow me on TikTok. But I've started doing more like mini vlogs on TikTok and now I just feel like I'm consistently vlogging my life. And while it's fun, I like vlogging both on here and I like vlogging on TikTok also. Vlogging on here does not feel like I am constantly, I constantly have like a camera on my face because I don't know I'm just used to y'all I'm used to y'all on here like I I just like vlog my days and that's it and there are days where I may not vlog and that's fine like I'm off camera but it feels like on the days where I'm off camera on YouTube I'm on camera on TikTok and now I'm just consistently thinking about which camera needs to eat first without me eating first you know without me enjoying my life first um so I've been kind of dealing with that too um go go follow a bitch on TikTok you know we're doing it out there we doing it <laughs> I'm just really tired of her being a friend. Like, he, this is a good man. There are currently grad picks being taken. I'm just over here being a little helper. Oh shoot. Not me dropping the stool. <laughs> Uh, but I figured it was nice because I'm on the undergrad campus and I haven't been here for a while but first semester I was here all the time um, so it's kind of nice to be back and they like messed up the grass because of graduation stuff but it kind of looks pretty um, there's a bunch of like litter stuff on the floor and yeah it's just it's nice to be back I haven't been here in, like forever you guys remember when we used to like go to the gothic reading room and just like chill there I miss those days why am I acting like I'm graduating because I'm not I would you also have some manners, okay? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was going to get them into me, see, but I was like, oh, no. Show the people, show the people. Oh, no. But you're not saying, you're actually just very <laughs> Currently grilling. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not, but at least I look pretty. <laughs> Darling, I'll be fine. 
The reason I decorated my locker this way was to have a place on campus or in the law school that I could come if things were super tough and be happy. So you guys remember I got that and um, that just made me happy to have a disco ball in here and have it turn and just have like a beautiful like peaceful space. It's supposed to, what was supposed to symbolize like freedom and being in touch with nature and yourself and self growth. And I think it has served me well this year. This locker has, was also inspired by the song Work This Time by King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizards. I used to listen to it all the time when I first came here and I'm listening to it a lot now. Um, but if you've never heard it, go listen to it and then you kind of, you catch the vibe. But let's go ahead and take this down. <laughs> And it is now empty. Um, this is the end of this vlog, season finale. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.